the identity upgrade. Every action you take is essentially a vote for the type of person you wish to become. And new identities require new evidence. Now, whatever your identity is in this moment in time, you only believe it because you have proof of it. And the more evidence you have for a belief, the more strongly you will actually believe it. And due to the frequency of habits and what you do on a daily basis, they are usually the most important actions when it comes to influencing your identity. As you repeat an action, the evidence accumulates and your self-image and what you believe to be true about yourself changes. One-off experiences tend to fade away, while the effects of habits get reinforced with time, which means your habits contribute most of the evidence that shape your identity and what you actually believe about yourself. Every time you choose to perform a bad habit, that's actually a vote for that identity. However, you don't always need to be perfect. You just need to choose the good habit the majority of the time. As these votes add up, the evidence begins to change and that story you tell yourself begins to change and you start to trust yourself more. So your action step this week is to number one, decide the type of person you want to be. What do you want to stand for? Who do you want to become? What are your principles and values? If you find it hard to answer that, then ask yourself, who is the type of person that could get the outcome that I want? A simple example is, I wanna lose two stone, which is outcome-based, needs to change to being identity-based. I need to be consistent and hardworking. Secondly, start proving it to yourself with small wins over time. It's hard to change your habits if you never change the underlying beliefs that led to your past behavior. You have a new goal, a new plan, but you haven't changed who you are. For example, something we hear time and time again, and we say to ourselves is, I don't have the motivation today. But there are two forms of motivation. We have extrinsic and intrinsic. The ultimate form of intrinsic motivation is when a habit becomes part of your identity. It's one thing to say, I'm the type of person who wants this. It's something very different to say, I'm the type of person who is this. The more pride you have in a particular aspect of your identity, the more motivated you will be to maintain those habits associated with it. You know, if you're proud of how your hair looks, you'll develop all sorts of habits to care for and maintain it. If you're proud of the size of your glutes, you'll make sure you never ever skip a lower body workout. So you might start a habit because of motivation, but the only reason you stick with one is that it becomes part of your identity.